What's up guys, Turgo Live here, and in this video, I will go over things I wish I knew earlier in Tower of Fantasy. So let's get started. One of the most frustrating things for me to understand was swapping between Weapon 1 and Weapon 2, as they have different keybinds and so I constantly got confused. But if you go to Settings and then Controls, you will see your keybinds. If you do show keybinds, it will then display that up on your UI so that you always know which button you have to press to get the weapon that you want. This mainly applies to people that play on mouse and keyboard. So to emo in Tower Fantasy is a little bit different, but you need to get to your chat. And then from there, you will see a small icon of two people holding hands. If you click on that, it will pop up with emotes that you're able to do from there. Then click on the one that you would like to do. This next tip took a bit of practicing and coordination to figure out, but when an enemy attacks, there will be a momentary flash, and this is key to nail. If you dodge during this flash, you will trigger phantom time. Basically, the enemy will start to move slow, and this is your opportunity to trigger a combo attack. Your secondary weapons you have equipped will be fully charged up, and you can unleash it. So similar to Genshin Impact, Tower Fantasy has elemental resources that you have to use a certain weapon to gather it. Red being fire, blue being ice, and purple being electric, as a couple examples. So make sure when you see them in the world that you equip the correct weapon. When you are fighting mobs, if you zoom in with the bow or gun and get a headshot, it will do increased damage to them, so always try to get a headshot when you can. Black and gold nucleus are the currency that are used for weapon and material pools in Tower of Fantasy. They are locatively placed around the world, and how you recognize them is by the white little diamonds that show up on the map. There are dandelions, mud wells, blue anemone-like plants, and other things that will give them out to you. You will want to collect as much of these as you can, again, for weapon pools. There is food or cooking ingredients all over the world. When you have at least picked up one of them, you can find where you can get it in the future if you forgot. Simply press B or open your backpack and you can click on the item and it will tell you where to find it. If you press C on your keyboard, it will open up the character panel. You are able to click on your birth date. Now in this example, I had already done it, but it does say that you do get something special for your birthday. I wonder what it is. While you are on the character panel, you can also change your avatar and avatar frame by clicking on the face icon. From here, it also shows you what it takes to unlock other avatars and frames and what you can equip. Right below where you change your birthday, you are also able to change your title in game. Sadie is huge to your survival in Tower of Fantasy. Now, if you read through this description, it's basically saying that the more Sadie that you have, the faster HP regen speed it will be. After you leave a battle, you will restore health. That being said, if your Sadie is low, this rate will be slower and you won't be able to enter the next fight as quick. So make sure that you eat food regularly. Back on the backpack screen, or if you press B, you are able to change your outfit and appearance at any point in the game. You also get more outfits as you unlock different milestones, but I thought this was a really cool feature if you wanted a fresh look down the way. When you start to have relics, there will be some relics that have multiple charges. The charges will overlay on the relic, and when you have used one, it will start to recharge. You will notice this by the bar going around the relic icon. There will then be an overall timer once you have used both charges, so you will know how long you have until you can use it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I hope that this helps on your journey in Ida. This is going to be a multi-part series of things I wish I knew earlier in Tower of Fantasy because I wanted to keep these short and simple. Keep an eye out for the next part here soon. I'll see you guys in the next video.